Hey guys, what's up? Fired up up from two here with my third tutorial, and today I'm going to be explaining how to use the pod controller. Um, the tutorials I'm oh, there's some confusion here with my tutorials. Right now I'm only doing um, like how to use this kind of stuff tutorials. Like what? That's like what I refer to them, but um, I'm just teaching guys teaching guys how to use like hydraulic the uh what's it the detonator explosive door advanced <sighs> pod controller um console oh not console indicator lamp light all that crap so I'm not doing contraption videos yet so just give me a break I only, I'm only taking like how to use this kind of thing tutorials again I'm gonna keep on repeating that I don't need any contraption ideas like how do you, how do I make this thing how to make that I'm just teaching you guys how to explain I'm just explaining how do you use the stuff so no more contraption videos for a while at least until I'm at 10 or something all right well anyways back to the lesson I'm going to be teaching you how to use the advanced Pod controller. Alright, so here's the seat. A nice little seat. And so, let's say you want, like, somebody else. Like, if you have a car and you want somebody else to drive, you'd, of course, get in the seat and then they'd probably push the buttons for the thrusters because they don't know how to use this. You have no control over the car and you end up having a big fun. So, the advanced pod controller was made just to kind of help those people in need for it. No more like minges, well, there will be, but you don't have to worry about like somebody getting in the car and then you have to push the buttons for them to go. So this way they can do it for themselves. Alright, so I'm just gonna go ahead and point this like over here or something. And I'm gonna go ahead and get a little middle plate and just kind of drop it off right there and so I'm going to get a wire um, oh yeah, indicator so this is going to tell me when I push a button it will show up so I'm just going to go ahead and use this little lead 2 that came with it so I'm going to use this for W this for A this one for D and this one for S. So let me go ahead and get this all wired up. A on that one right there goes to D. A goes to A. That one goes to S. And the front one goes to W. And of course I have some wires, but yeah. So if I look down at this little panel I have, W lights up the green one, A right or D lights lights up the right one, A lights up the left one, and S lights up the bottom one. And so these commands will like show up on your thrusters to push. <coughs> Whoa. Alright, so let me just go ahead and give you guys an example of a thruster working off of that. So I'm just going to use paint bucket, force multiplier doesn't really matter because I'm not going to be like driving jet flying. I'm just going to put that down. And I'm going to go ahead and wire this to S. Now when I look down, I see all this little effects. That means the thing's on, but I hit other kids it doesn't work until I hit S again. And so this is pretty good for like cars and other things. Just kind of keep it simple for those who wants to ride your car, but you kind of don't want to try or anything. You don't want to like push button for them to drive. You want to let them drive off on their own, be as free as they can. That kind of stuff. The the only reason why I did this tutorial is because, well, midges were bugging me. Like, they get on my server, they're like, oh my god, get in my car, get in my car, uh, 
And so I get in there, and they're the one driving. I'm like, dude, what the hell? And so I just think that some people need to know this. Instead of using, like, numpads or just, like, normal thrusters, just kind of help them, you know? Alright, well, anyways, this has been Fired Up 522 with my third tutorial. And third tutorial explaining how to use the advanced pod controller. Have fun, don't burn yourself.